You uncover an insidious and seemingly intentional campaign by Republican-backed polling firms to flood the zone and tip the balance of polling averages in favor of their candidates to create a narrative that Republicans are surging and that a red wave is imminent and inevitable. Okay, so there you have it. MSNBC host claiming that Republican pollsters are skewing the narrative and inflating polls in favor of the GOP, which absolutely makes no sense. Yeah, for more, let's welcome in pollster at McLaughlin and Associates and the Trump 2020 campaign, Jim McLaughlin. Uh, Jim, thanks for joining us this morning. So yeah, these polls have been all over the place, but Rob and I were talking about this earlier. If Republicans were skewing the polls to make them seem like they're winning, wouldn't that actually hold people back from going voting, saying, okay, well, they're, they've got it, they're winning. Yeah, I don't like need to go a vote. red wave's coming, yeah. I, I'm tired, I'm not gonna go vote. This is the typical example of the left accusing Republicans of what the left is doing. Because in a lot of these polls right now, they're still doing it. Um, if you go back to the 2020 election, we know from the exit polls and other data, basically the two parties were about even in terms of how they turned out in the 2020 election. It was about 37% Democrat, 36% Republican. And you're still seeing a lot of these national polls right now done by the media and these colleges and universities where Republicans are only represented in their surveys by about a quarter of the vote. And another example is yesterday, there's a poll that came out that had Lee Zeldin down by eight points yesterday in, uh, uh, I think it was a Hill Harris, uh, Emerson, Emerson College poll um, in New York, said he was down by eight points. But the problem is with the survey, Again, they oversampled Democrats at about 53%. They undersampled Republicans at only about 23, 24%. In 2014, Rob Astorino, when he lost to uh, Andrew Cuomo, Republicans accounted for nearly 34% of the vote in the state of New York in the governor's race. So huh. these are just, it's its actually the other way around of what Joyless Reed is talking about. I, that can't be understated, by the way, I, the how much Republicans underperform, because generally speaking, conservative Republican voters, if they get a phone call from some stranger asking them for their information, they're not going to take that call. They're going to hang up. But I've got an aunt in Massachusetts who would take that call <laughs> and spend 45 minutes on that call, giving up all her information and telling her exactly what she thinks about every <laughs> single race in the state. Um, so to me, that, that rings true. Um, I want to talk about Zeldin and Kathy Hochul. So Trafalgar, they've been accurate. They were accurate in 2016 when it comes to Donald Trump. They give Lee Zeldin a one-point lead in New York. We've got six days to go, Jim. How does this race turn out? Yeah, look, and there have been multiple polls that have said the race is basically tied or given Lee Zeldin a slight advantage. But you know who got it right? Lee Zeldin. Lee Zeldin's been out there saying our campaign is about saving the state. There is no red wave. There's going to hopefully be a common sense wave. And look, there's six days left, and these are the six hardest days of the campaign. We've got to turn out our vote here. And, and Lee's exactly right. You don't want to take anything for granted right now in any of these races, because a lot can happen with six days left. And a lot of Republicans do not trust the early voting. They do not trust the vote by mail. So the Republicans need to have a big turnout and a big day on Election Day. And I know candidates like Lee and other Republicans across the state in New York, they're doing everything to make sure that it happens. Mm. Yeah, so Jim, the moral of the story is make sure you go and vote uh, next Tuesday. Um, the Wall Street Journal claiming Democrats are living in the left bank of denial. Um, so the midterm six days away, is, what do you make of this? Yeah, look, I think a lot of what's going on there right now is, look, look how far, you know, yesterday, you go back to Florida, you look at Joe Biden and how he's calling the Republicans the extremists. And the truth of the matter is, it's the Democrats who are the extremists. They've spent $6 trillion we didn't have that caused this crazy inflation. A lot of things they're not they're not even getting hit on is all these tax increases in the Inflation Reduction Act. These are the same folks that have given us open borders. These are the same folks that have weakened our military. Now we're on the verge of World War III across the country. And you know what? You saw common sense over the last couple of days in Israel, where the Israeli people went back to Bibi Netanyahu. Why? Because they don't feel safe oh. and they don't think their economy is doing well. 
So what did they do? They went back to the conservative. That could happen here in 2024. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jim, by the way, and we can talk about this when you're on with us again before Election Day, but polling groups uh, like McLaughlin and Associates, by the way, you want to stay in business, right? Yeah. So it only helps you to try to be as accurate as possible when forecasting uh, it's, elections. It's, it, it makes perfect just, sense. It's a small world because yeah. let me tell you, you won't get hired again on political clients if you don't give them if you're not giving them the right information. Yeah. But right. it's but it's for some reason the media yeah. pollsters seem to get away with being wrong. Of course. Right. That's why you and that's why you and John are still in business. That's Some right. of the best in the business. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for having me. Of, of course. course. Good to see you. See you soon. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Tell me don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.